In this video, we are going to look into the signal flow graph that is SFG for linear constant coefficient difference equations. So in comparison with the block diagram representation, the signal flow graph has some advantages. The first one is that SFG is more compact as compared to the block diagram representation. And more importantly, the SFG is well established. So it is used in discrete mathematics and the theory is well established. So we can adopt all those concepts of uh, discrete mathematics into uh, the description of linear constant coefficient difference equations. So in SFGs, we have a source node, which is represented by this circle. And we have a sink node, which is uh, this circle over here. So the source node is the node where you can input the signal. And in between the source node and the sink node, we have intermediate nodes, which we can refer to as W1 of n and W2 of n. So presently in this example, we have four nodes. So these nodes are interconnected by means of these branches. And each of these branches have a multiplier, which in our case is A, B, C, D, and E. So these multipliers are representing the constant coefficients in the LCCD E expressions. So if the branch doesn't have a multiplier, so we assume that it is a unity gain branch. Furthermore, if we want to delay x of n, so we include z inverse over here. So over here we would have x of n minus 1. Now let us understand this further by means of some examples. So in the first example, we have a first order system whose transfer function is b0 plus b1 z inverse over 1 minus a z inverse. So for this transfer function, if we are to make the block diagram representation, say of type 2, so we would need inverse z transform of this transfer function. So that is, we would need the inverse z transform of y of z over x of z. That is b0 plus b1 z inverse over 1 minus a z inverse. Now from here we can extract out the difference equation and that is simply y of n which is coming from this one and from here on the right side we would now have a y of n minus 1 plus this b naught would yield x of n plus we would have a b1 x of n minus 1. So this is the difference equation that we can extract from this transfer function. So the block diagram representation of this difference equation in type 2 form is this one, where the a y n of 1 is basically expressed on the left side, whereas in type 2, the zeros are expressed on the right side, which is over here. Similarly, the signal flow graph for this first order system is given by. Herein, we express x of n and y of n as nodes. Furthermore, all the junction points, which are this, 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 this. So these four junction points are also included as nodes. Also, the branches are relayed over here in terms of this with equivalent multiplications, that is A, B1 and so on. For unit delay, we express Z inverse in terms of this multiplication. The unity gain at the input and output represent the input output of a system. And the nodes are labeled as W1 of n, W2 of n, W3 of n and so on. In what follows, using this signal flow graph, we would again try to achieve the difference equation. And for that, we start by writing the system difference equations at each nodes, starting with w1 of n 
which is simply the input x of n and w4 of n with the multiplier a. Similarly, w2 of n is w1 of n, w3 of n is the addition. This node is identifying an addition. So this is b0 w2 of n plus b1 w4 of n. And w4 of n is w2 n minus 1. Lastly, y of n is w3 of n. So in order to compute y of n, we order the sequences and try to extract out y of n, which is w3 of n coming from this expression. But w3 of n is represented over here. So we plug in that value. And note that we have made a substitution of w4 of n as w2 of n minus 1 over here. Also, this w2 of n is expressed as w1 of n, which in fact is this one and hence we plug it over here. And for w4 of n, again, we take this node variable equation and this yields a w2 n minus 1 plus x of n. So next we move to z domain and for that w2 of z is simply this is constant coefficient and the difference yields z inverse w2 of z plus x of z. So we can take w2 of z common and this would help us in achieving the next equality that is 1 over 1 minus a z inverse x of z. Similarly for y of n from here we take the z transform and that is represented over here which is b naught w2 of z plus b1 z inverse w2 of z. Again we take w2 of z common and plug in the value of this w2 of z to achieve the expression for y of z which is b0 plus b1 z inverse over 1 minus a is z inverse x of z and hence by taking the inverse z transform we achieve the difference equation that is a y n minus 1 plus b0 x of n plus b1 x of n minus 1 now let us move towards example 2 which is a non-standard form of signal flow graph. So this is represented over here. So again we have the input node and the sync node and for this we are asked to develop the, the system function that is h of z and also its inverse that is h of n. So as a first step we write the difference equations of each node and for that we have w1 of n which is simply minus x of n plus w4 of n and similarly we have w2 of n which is alpha w1 of n and so on until y of n which is the summation of w2 of n with w4 of n. So next we take the z transform of all of these expressions which is given over here. Furthermore, we progressively eliminate interior node variables. That is, we are interested in w2 of z and w4 of z, right? So at the output, we are interested in these two node variables. So we progressively move toward that and for w2 of z which is coming from here uh, we plug in the values similarly for w4 of z which is coming from here we plug in the values that is of w3 which is from here so we achieve w4 of z and the addition of these two is giving us y of z now let us move towards describing w4 of z in terms of x of z. 
and that is expressed over here that w4 of z is z inverse alpha w4 of z minus x of z plus x of z expressed over here and then we take this part to the left side and solve to get w4 of z similarly we solve w2 of z coming from here and that is put in over here and this y of n is just the addition of these two which is expressed over here so by the simplification of these two we get z inverse minus a over 1 minus a z inverse note that this is the system function that is we have x of z times h of z and this system function is h of z is z inverse minus a over 1 minus a z inverse and from here we can take the inverse z transform by say using partial friction expansion and assuming causality So hence we have achieved h of z and its inverse h of n, the impulse response over here. To wrap up, let us again look at this expression that is the output expression y of z and see if we can make it more compact. And for that, we can take the inverse z transform of y of z, which is y of n and from here we will have minus alpha y of n minus 1 minus alpha coming from here x of n plus x of n minus 1 in fact since this minus would go over there and then it would return so this would become a plus this is plus alpha y of n minus 1 and for this the SFG is simply this which is now in much compact form as compared to the above SFG and here in this alpha y of n minus 1 the delay is here and this alpha is over here this minus alpha is appearing over here whereas the delay is coming from this branch so this is in fact the direct form equivalent SFG